Hey guys, Robert Webb here with the Destination NJ Home Selling Team. Today, we're gonna to take a deep dive into the housing data of December 2020 for Basking Ridge and try to think about what's gonna be coming forward for the housing market in 2021. This is a new series that we're rolling out, so we wanna to continue to bring you this data month over month. So if you like this type of content and you wanna stay current on the housing data, make sure you subscribe and continue to check us out. Stick around till the end of this video where we're gonna showcase three unique properties to Basking Ridge. And finally, if you have questions about this video, this data, or real estate in general, I wanna invite you to call the number on your screen and reach out to me and ask me. I'm here to help. Now, let's jump into the data. Now, looking at the market as a whole, we saw 20 new listings come to all of Basking Ridge in December but that doesn't even keep up with the 43 homes that sold this month, showing that the current demand for homes isn't even meeting the supply that's currently coming on the market in what is considered to be one of the slowest months in real estate. We also saw the average days on market being 50 days, which is actually down 18% from 2019, showing that these homes are moving even quicker this year compared to last. Now, let's break the data down into single family homes and townhouses and condos. In the single family space, of the 10 homes that came out, the average listing price was just over 700,000. Compare that with the 24 single family homes that went under contract with an average sales price of almost 860,000. And you can see that the homes that came out tended to be a little bit smaller, a little bit lower priced, but the homes that were selling were still the higher end stuff. The average days on market for single family homes was about 55 days. So even though it's a little bit above the 50 day average for all of Basking Ridge, it's still pretty impressive when you think that the average list price in Basking Ridge is 1.35 million. And that 55 days represents a 33% decrease over this time last year in December, 2019. So homes are moving a third quicker than they used to. Before we go over to the townhouse and condo data, I just wanna take a really quick second and let you know that if you love this type of data, but you want a broader view, we're introducing what we call the Heart of NJ housing data. You can check out the video for it here. It's gonna include all the data from Somerset County, Hunterdon, Union, and Morris County. Now let's switch gears and take a look at the condos and townhomes in Basking Ridge. While we saw 10 new homes list this month, 19 went under contract or pending. So the demand continues to outpace the supply in both the single family market and the townhouse market. The average days on market in the townhouse condo space was 44 days. So it is moving quicker than the single families and it's bringing that average down to that 50 days, but it's showing you how quickly these homes are really moving. You're able to get your home on the market and get it sold in under a month and a half right now. And one of the interesting things about the condo and townhouse data is that the average list price in December was 343 compared with your average sales price for December, which was 388. So we saw some of those higher price properties move in December as people scramble in the end of the year rush to buy a house. So now that we've taken a look at the data, what does it all mean and where are we going in 2021? Well, considering how strong December was, days on markets being down and sales being up dramatically compared to December 2019, I could say that people were definitely looking to buy this holiday season and that's gonna continue into the new year. With the new surge of buyers that are gonna be coming to the market, planning to buy in 2021, coupled with the people that were losing out on listings last year, I absolutely expect this first quarter to be off the charts in the demand to continue to rise. So if you've been thinking about selling your house, there might not be a better time, whether you have a townhouse and condo and you're gonna get it sold in a month and a half, or you're gonna list your $1.3 million Basking Ridge house and sell it in two months, you're gonna be just fine into this market. Now that we took a look at the hard data, let's get to some of the fun part, house shopping. We're gonna take a look at some houses in Basking Ridge and we're gonna take a look at the most expensive house, the biggest house currently on the market and one of the most unique houses that Basking Ridge has to offer right now. The most expensive house currently on the market sits at $5.4 million. 121 Lees Hill Road is an absolutely stunning house. As soon as you take a look at this home, you can see why it is by far the highest priced home. It has an 
apple orchard on its grounds, an organic garden, a pond, and then once you get inside, you notice that it has its own gym, its own billiards room, and the TV in the bathroom above the tub is bigger than most people have in their regular house, in their regular living room. And now, we don't have to go very far to find the largest house. If we go right down the street to 130 Lees Hill Road, we're gonna check out this 13,500 plus square foot estate. Let's take a look at this one. You don't have to go very far in the pictures to see where the extra 2,000 square feet is in this house. This indoor swimming pool is absolutely amazing. Indoor, outdoor, rainy, sunny, you can enjoy this any time of the day. And this house has its own racquetball court. And now I wanna take a look at 90 Church Street. Probably one of my favorite homes currently on the market. It's so unique, it's an early American home, and I love the detail in this house. This home was actually constructed in the 1700s, so it is literally hundreds of years old. And as soon as you walk in, you get that clash of old style with these beautiful wide plank wooden floors and the touch of modern that the current owners put on it to kind of bring it up to date and bring it up to 2021. This home truly is a gem out there. So if you're looking for that modern farmhouse type thing, this is an absolutely perfect house to go and check out. Thank you so much for taking a deep dive on the housing data and checking out some cool places in Basking Ridge. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be doing this every month. So if you love this type of data and you wanna track the housing market, definitely subscribe and check us out next month. In the meantime, if you have any questions about anything real estate related, call this number. I would love to chat with you. I'm Robert Webb and I can't wait to see you next time.